My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 1957 Chevy 150 with an incredible restoration. This thing's been body off the frame, flipped on a rotisserie. Every nut bolt uh, has been redone. This thing is immaculate underneath the car. Show quality throughout, top to bottom. Comes with all these receipts, documentation, owner's manuals in here. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can study the pictures. You can read the information and you will also find a price tag on every one of our cars along with the monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, you gotta check out the undercarriage pictures of this car. Uh, just like it sounds, they lifted the body off the frame and then they flipped it on a rotisserie so they could work on the bottom of the car and they made it look like new. All perfectly clean metal, the braces, the inner rockers, all the factory seams, floor pans, all looks immaculate. They resprayed it. These left the factory in a red oxide primer, so it's all resprayed just like that. A little bit of undercoat used on, on certain areas on a factory seam or in a wheel well, so they duplicated it just like the factory would have done. The entire chassis, the frame, and all of its components were stripped down bare. Uh, chassis was all painted and then completely put back together with rebuilt and new parts. The whole front end, uh, spring shocks, bushings, the steering components, uh, same thing in the back all rebuilt steering and suspension. Uh, the original drum brakes all around, complete system was restored. All the brake lines, the e-brake assembly is hooked up. Uh, so that's all been redone. The fuel system was all replaced and it all back to factory, it looks just like factory. So a new fuel tank, fuel lines. It does have an upgraded dual exhaust system. It's stainless steel from the motor to the tip. Uh, the mufflers are actually polished, uh, so it's all stainless. The tailpipe is nice and bent, and it's all neatly done. Now you look up at the bottom of the motor. It's not even oily. It still looks new. Uh, it has the lower uh, shields that the spark plug wires run through. It has the correct canister type uh, screw-on oil filter. The starter is restored has the three-speed manual transmission in there. It's got a three on a tree. Drive shaft is rebuilt. The rear end is restored. I think it has a 350 gear in it. It's the original rear end dated and coded to this car. So again, check out the pictures of the underside. It's really, really nice. Same with the body. Uh, it's repainted its original colors. I think it's Larkspur blue uh, with the white and the body is absolutely excellent. Every square inch is laser beam straight, uh, but let's double check it. No issues. This trunk fits perfectly well, all square and flush. No rust, no damage, no dents, no cracking, no issues. Laser beam straight. Uh, again, uh, pristine. The roof is pristine. Uh, no issues at all, all the way down to the bottom. This door fits better than it did new. I'm sure they reworked that. All lines up perfectly well. I mean, really spot on. And again, no issues, no, no rust, no dents, no bubbles. The hood fits nice and square and everything just lines up so nice. And uh, you know, if you watch my videos, I love it when a car does this. Just shuts like a brand new car. That's, that's the quality this car here is. Laser beam straight. I can't say enough. Jeez, I, I barely even let go of it. Anyway, pristine body and paint better than when it left the factory. So every piece of trim was redone. Uh, the chrome rockets, the V, the emblem, the lenses, 
the headlight bezels, the Dagmars on the front, all of that was redone or replaced. The moldings down the side, all polished and straight. Every, every piece of it, chrome around the vent window, the trim around the windshield, the correct antenna, dual mirrors as the optional door handle guards. So all of this trim has optional reverse lights, bumper, emblems, all beautiful. Where do you put gas in a 57 Chevy? Right there. The rear glass looks to be really good original. There's some light scratches if you look for them. I do believe the side glass and windshields replaced because it's crystal clear. All the rubber seals, the fuzzy uh, window seals here, weather strips, that was all replaced. They did jazz it up with some 15 inch uh, Kreger wheels with BF Goodrich tires. Uh, they're just a couple years old. They look brand new. They sparkle. Car's got a real nice stance. So that's the outside. Let's take a tour of the inside. See what it looks like inside the trunk. I bet it looks brand new. Yes, it does. So look under the trunk lid here. Look at how nice it's painted. It's as slick as the outside. The uh, insulation pads look new. The weather strip is new. The latches look new. And then inside the trunk, pristine. Look at that, beautiful metal. It looks wet, it's dry, it's just gloss paint. New wiring harness, new grommets, uh, the correct rubber mat, the complete jack and spare assemblies all restored. This is a reproduction uh, white wall tire, uh, obviously never been used, and it's got the jack assembly and lug wrench all painted up real nice. So yeah, that's what a brand new 57 Chevy trunk should look like. This car runs and drives and functions as good as it looks too. You see the door jams are just as slick as the car. The latches have been restored. The weather strips and sill plates were replaced. Uh, inside the car, the metal trim is all painted beautifully. All reproduction door panels, armrests, window cranks, handles, uh, the whole dash, again, all repainted. Uh, very clean, original uh, two gauges. The speedometer lens looks like that might be new. But the knobs, clock is ticking. So I tell my guys all the time, come on, clock's ticking. Uh, glove box liner, uh, real nice. Look at all the screws, everything. It's just super nice on this car. Uh, this radio uh, has a conversion. It looks like an AM radio, but it's actually a stereo conversion. Uh, kick panels, carpet, reproduction mats, beautiful steering wheel. It's got the tree on the tree. If you ever drove one, uh, it's pretty fun, actually, and uh, it takes a minute to get used to, but once you do, not a problem. Seats are all rebuilt, recushioned, reupholstered, matches the door panels. Back seat, side panels, all the trim, rear deck, all that's redone. Has the straps here, cloth headliner with a working dome light. Uh, visors are redone to match. The mirror looks new. Really an excellent, excellent shape in here. Aside from the Kregers, it's a stock restoration. This is uh, uh, very possibly the original 283. All the numbers and codes and dates line up. It does have the power pack. That's the four barrel carb. And it's all authentic. It has the glass fuel bowl, the right air cleaner, Chevrolet script valve covers. The generator's all restored with uh, the correct power steering and all the the linkage and steering components, everything's redone. Has a uh, Delco battery topper, so it looks like an original battery, all bolted down properly. It's a nice safety disconnect switch. The heater system, the hinges, the rubber, the clips, the clamps, everything. Distributor, all looks like new. Up front here, look how smooth the metal is. Got both horns. All painted real nicely. 
under the hood, the latch, the paint, the nuts, the bolts. Uh, super, super nice uh, detailed engine apartment. This is about as nice as they get. If you are all about quality and fit and finish and function, I mean, this is it. I was just looking under the seat, under the dash. The jams are probably painted nicer than most of the 57 Chevy uh, outside paint jobs uh, that are out there. I mean, there's a lot of nice 57 Chevys, but this one ranks right at the top uh, with them. And today, you can spend a lot of money, we all know that, and you can wait two years, and you still might not get a car that's as finished as this one and dialed in as this one. Just because you throw lots of money at a restoration doesn't mean it'll be this good. This is a good one, folks. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can find the salesmen. Ask them your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help finance this car if you go to volocars.com. Hope you're enjoying the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.